Hello everyone, welcome back to Blockman Editor Tutorial. In these videos, we will give you a complete introduction to the Blockman Editor. Launch the editor and find the assets view. Click the store button to access the store. At present, there are two types of resources in the store including actor and mesh. You can select the resource you need, purchase and download. You can also directly put keywords in the search bars on top. All resources in the store matching the keywords will be displayed when you search from the top search bar. If you use the search bar under each resource category, only resources matching the keyword in the current category will appear in the results. Once you have found the resources you need, click buy to make the purchase. If your purchase is successful, click download button to download the resource to your editor. The check button can directly show you the location of the resource in the editor. At the top of this view, you should find a tab named, mine. All the resources purchased under current account are displayed here. Even if we change to another project or switch to another device, as long as we are logged into the same account, all resources purchased in the name of this account are accessible. So how to use the resources we have downloaded? Take the downloaded actor resource as an example. Select entity in the game components view and click the new button. Name your entity and confirm. In properties view on the right, we can see that there are two actor model preview boxes, male actor model and female actor model. Click on the cross to delete the preset models and then select the downloaded actor resource. We have completed the creation of a new entity actor. In subsequent courses, we will discover more about the entity. Find the import button in the asset view. Click on the button and find two options popping up, import resources and import fbx file. Let's first take a look at the import resources option. Click on import resources option and a file selection window will pop up. Locate the resource to be imported and select. And click the open button. It should be noted that our editor only support MP3 format for audio resources, PNG and TGA format for image resources. Next, let's take a look at the import FBX file option. A file selection window will pop up again. But we need to select a file in FBX format this time. Usually FBX format files are created with professional modeling softwares, such as 3ds Max. Maya, etc. It should be noted here that the editor has some restrictions on external FBX files. For details, please refer to the user manual on our official website, which discusses importing external models. That's all for this video. We hope it can help you on your way to a great creator. If you want to know more about the editor, you can comment below the video or post on the official forum. See you in the next video.